Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be doing a Frosty K guide because I know a lot of people have been going unholy because they don't really like Frost or they don't think that it's good because of rumors that have been going around that Frost isn't good but I feel like a lot of people underestimate Frost and today I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing and how I pump out my damage but I will say that we are pretty squishy. We can like we don't have as much healing as we did back in WAD where we could like 1v4 and just stay up through the big crowd. We don't really have any healing. The only really big heal that we have is our Dark Sucker which whenever we get a heal or whenever we get a kill it increases our death strike and it's also free and that's like almost half of our health it's like 40% of our health which is a big heal but how often are you gonna get a kill without an XQ we don't have Soul Reaper it's harder but anyways guys let's get into the talent so first I'm running Shattering Strikes because once you get 5 stacks of Razor Eyes, your Frost Strikes will do 40% more damage. How you build up uh, your Razor Eyes, you'll just do Auto Attacks, your Blitz, your Howling Blast, anything regular. So you'll see right here on my target, I already have Razor Eyes. So right here, boom, Frost Strike. My Frost Strike just consumed those Razor Eyes and took all the stacks away, but it did more damage. And then I'm running Freezing Fog. It's just my Frost Fever and my Howling Blast do 25% more damage. Um, none of these talents are really for healing, otherwise you would probably want to pick those, but let's just continue. Uh, so when Pillar of Frost is active, your melee crit causes, I, blah, blah, causes crystals to fall on your enemies. So any nearby enemy, when I pop crystal, not crystal, pillar and I'm bursting, crystals will come down and do some decent amount of damage on them. So let me pop pillar right here. You'll see them come down right now. They're like little blizzards. Let me just get some crits, maybe, maybe crits. Uh, I was getting them all the time before, but apparently they're not, they're not falling down. There they are, you just saw them, saw them again. Alright, so winter's coming. Enemy struck five times by remorseless winter. While your pillar frost active are stunned for four seconds, which is a really, really good talent to be running. Because we don't have a stun as it is, so remorseless winter will just slow. And we need this like root slash stun anything that we can get to get some CC off. And you'll see why I actually have this one because it combos really good with Gathering Storm here, but we'll get down to that. So permafrost, when you deal damage with auto attack, gain absorb shield equal to 30% of damage dealt. And the reason that I'm running this before is or not like before I said that we're really squishy and we don't have much healing besides like that dark sucker sucker, which is like victory rust. So I'm running this because it's a little bit of defensive that we can have. Each rune spent during Remorseless Winter increases its damage by 10% and extends its uh, duration. So basically, if I'm fighting a big mob people, I'm going to be here. I'm going to just do my, um, my Remorseless Winter. And maybe I'll pop it when I already have some Runic. And then I'll do my Frost Strikes and Frost Strikes. And I'll just keep dumping my Runic for my Howling Blast. Or not my Howling Blast, but my Remorseless Winter to last longer. And do more damage. And then overall, if I make it last longer and longer, it'll just stun my target. And then last, for my last tier, I'm running Breath of Cindergosa. This talent does a lot of damage. But you have to learn how to use it. You have to use it when you have a lot of runic, there's a lot of people around you, so like you could do massive, massive AoE, and basically I wouldn't use this when you have Remorseless Winter up, guys. You could, it depends on the scenario. If you're trying to keep up to your target, and you're not trying to dump out your Frost Strikes, you want to keep as much runic as you can when you have Breath, because that's how you keep it up, and you have your consistent damage with it. So with Remorseless Winter, you have to maintain it with Frost Strikes, and Frost Strikes take your Runic. So it's like a little bit of both ways, you have to know what you want to do. Because if you have Remorseless Winter, you're going to want to Frost Strike for more damage and more duration on Remorseless Winter. But if you have Breath of Sin to Ghost up, then you're going to want to have that Runic. So that's up to you on what you want to do there. So basically for Breath, you're just going to want to have somewhere around full Runic. You pop breath, and then here you're just gonna wait down, lose some runic. You're gonna keep dotting things up, and you're gonna keep your runic up, 
and basically this is how you keep your rotation going and your breath going and then here you can just pop your uh, your rune weapon keep a blitz a blitz anything that you can do to keep your rune up and then this will keep your breath going so as of rotation I've already done most of the rotation by just explaining talents I mean it's still really the same thing for melee so you just come root them root them root them you can howling blast in there anything really frosty case are still pretty easy guys um, most of the classes didn't really get too like hard in fact they probably got easier but remember a lot of stuff are also going to change in legion this is only legion pre-patch so go in howling blast howling blast could get my razor eyes to five stacks here we go then i could get my frost strike frost strike obliterate get back to five stacks here we go frost strike again and that's that's basically the whole rotation guys you could pop pillar in the middle of that and then remember that your death strikes take a lot a lot of runic and they barely hear you heal you guys they're like five percent but if you get a killing blow that's the main thing that you want to do sadly we don't have soul reaper but if you do get a killing blow then you can death strike and get a big heal off and i believe if you it, it, I believe it still works like this if you have pillar up and you get a death strike off it still heals for more which if you have a dark sucker up and you have your pillar up then it's probably gonna heal for more now I quickly want to go over the macro set I'm using I forgot to do this in my other guides but I don't think I had many macros to go over anyways uh, you guys could probably figure that out anyways you guys are smart alright so for my DK uh, you don't really need any macros I just have like arena macros and stuff like that like um, I have my focus dark sim here, focus stun or focus silence, which I don't use anymore because I was for strangulate. Um, so focus dark sim, yeah, I'll just show you right here. Um, so this is my focus death grip. It's so tooltips death grip slash cast target equals focus death grip, and dark sim is the same exact thing. Uh, so tooltips dark sim, and then slash cast dark sim dark sim. So you guys are probably wondering why do I still have Dark Sim if you didn't play Legion Beta or didn't watch any beta videos. We do get Dark Sim as an honor talent, so that's still an option that you can use back in Legion or forward in Legion. <laughs> Alright, so that's been it for the guide really guys. Um, I went over rotation, talents, macros. That's been it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bring the madness.